Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, just over a year ago, when we finished the civil action and judicial review, uh, I said I had great faith in the, the court system of Scotland. That faith has been much reinforced today. So I'd like to, to start by explaining that faith and, and thanking the jury for their decision. Uh, I'd also like to thank the court service who've been courteous beyond limit over the last two weeks and to the police officers who've uh, manned this trial under these uh, extraordinary circumstances. Obviously, above all, I'd like to thank my friends and, and family for standing by me over the, the last two years. I'd like to thank my brilliant legal team who are absolutely exceptional. Uh, and I'd like to thank all of the people who've sent so many messages uh, over the last uh, 18 months or so, but particularly uh, in, in recent days. Uh, as many of you will know, there are certain evidence that I would have liked to have seen led in this trial, but for a variety of reasons we were not able to do so. At some point, that information, that facts and that evidence will see the light of day, but it won't be this day, and it won't be this day for a very good reason. And that is, whatever nightmare I've been in over these last two years, it is as of nothing compared to the nightmare that every single one of us is currently living through. People are dying. Many more are going to die. What we are doing this now, and I know you've got a job to do, it is not safe. I know it's your job, but it ain't safe. Uh, and my strong, strong advice to you is to go home, those who can are able to, Take care of your families, and God help us all. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.